In this tutorial we are going to learn how to export a lesson or a quiz as an XAPI to be then implemented in an LMS service and how to share it with students. Before we begin, go to the SimLab Academy, then Evaluation, then select Export XAPI. The first item will play the tutorial video, so move to the next item and drag and drop it to load the scene. This is the two posts lift experience we used in earlier tutorials, and as you can see, it has the same quiz and the same questions we created before, and we are set to export it as an XAPI lesson. From the VR Evaluation menu, select Export Lesson as XAPI. Type in a name for the XAPI package and click Save. In the Export XAPI dialog, you can fill the title and the publisher's name as well as a brief description for the lesson or the quiz. You can also click the thumbnail to the right to change the lesson's thumbnail. There are a number of distinct images to choose from, or you can select an image of your own. Under Lesson Assignment, you can specify which group and course to upload the lesson to. You can also specify the number of times the student is allowed to run the lesson. If set to unlimited the student can run the lesson and take the quiz as many times as he wants. Click on VR Settings. In the Settings window, you can choose to optimize the package which would reduce its size and whether the package can be opened using the VR viewer only. You can also disable parts or all of the VR menu that is accessible during the lesson, and since we do not want the participant to modify the scene during the VR experience, we will disable the whole menu. As for the LRS settings, we are going to set it to LMS, since the XAPI we're about to export is going to be implemented in Talent LMS which is an LMS service. Click OK to upload the lesson. Once the lesson is uploaded, go to Talent LMS website. For this tutorial we will be using Talent LMS, but keep in mind that XAPI is compatible with a lot of LMS service providers, so no matter what service you are using, as long as it has XAPI or SCORM, you can integrate your VR lessons in them. Before we begin we need to first make sure that XAPI is enabled on Talent LMS. From the drop-down menu at the top, switch to the Administrator view. Go to Account Settings, then scroll down to get to the Security section. Make sure that XAPI is enabled then scroll down to the bottom of the page and click Save. Switch to the Instructor view, and let's proceed with uploading the lesson. The first thing that we need to do is to add a course if you do not have one already. Click on Add Course and under Course Name, I will type Mechanics 101, just to be consistent with the course we have in the SimLab Administrator. Click on Save and select Users. Now I'm going to add the students to this course. For the tutorial, I will be adding three students by clicking the plus sign on each of them. Now that these students are enrolled as learners, let's go back to the course to add the XAPI package that we created. Select the Mechanics 101 course. Click on Add to reveal the drop-down menu and select SCORM slash XAPI slash CMI5. Now click on the Upload button and select the XAPI package that you previously exported from SimLab VR Studio. Once the package is uploaded, click on Save and View. As you can see, the XAPI package has been uploaded successfully, but instead of running it as the administrator, I'm going to log out of the administrator account and sign in as a student. As a student now, I'm going to select the Mechanics 101 course to view its content, then I will click Run to start the VR lesson. A prompt will pop up asking the student to open the VR viewer, and once the student clicks Open, he can go through the lesson in VR. Once the student finishes the first part of the lesson, which guides him through the process of using the car lift, he can now take the quiz.
After the student answers the last question, he then submits the quiz and it will directly be sent to the administrator or the teacher and he can view the results, which we will learn how to do in an upcoming tutorial.